This is a custom budget PC by Haste Computer Repair. I'm going to refer to this as a sleeper gaming PC due to the unassuming PC case and lack of things like RGB. Despite the sticker on the front of the case, it's not a Pentium CPU, but rather an Intel Core i7-3770 CPU at 4 cores and 8 threads. The GPU pairing is this MSI Ventus XS OC V1 Edition GTX 1650 graphics card. And as labeled on the box, it does have 4GB of GDDR6 memory as opposed to the 4GB of GDDR5 memory that I am a little more used to. I'm very curious to see if there's a noticeable difference in gaming performance. What's interesting about this version of the card is that it has a 6-pin PCIe power plug. And why that's interesting is because I've only ever used GTX GTX 1650s that don't require any extra power from the power supply at all, much like this ASUS variant that I also have right here. Now a quick comparison of the two versions of the card that require a PCIe power plug and don't require a PCIe power plug, using only the stats on Tech Power Up, we're seeing a near identical configuration with, with the only difference being more transistors, larger board design, and a TDP of 80 watts as opposed to 75 watts. So maybe that means that this card will handle itself a little bit better under load, but honestly I don't know nor will I really have the time to figure it out before I go on to sell this build. But if you do know in the comments, please let me know because I'm very curious. So let's take a look inside the tower case. Now the motherboard is poached from a Lenovo ThinkCenter M92P and it currently has 32 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM by a brand called TimeTech a stock CPU fan and heatsink, one rear exhaust, and I did add one additional air intake fan. There's our GTX 1650. Beyond the ketchup and mustard cables, we have one 512 gigabyte Patriot P210 solid state drive. And the power supply actually came with this case. It's a 400 watt sparkle power power supply, and it works perfectly fine, though the fan is a little bit loud. The rear I.O. of the Lenovo motherboard features a serial port, VGA port, display port, 4 times USB 3.0, 2 times USB 2.0, RJ45 Ethernet port, and audio, mic, and headphone in and out. The I.O. of the GTX 1650 has one DVI port, one HDMI 2.0, and one DisplayPort 1.4a. Now what's also cool is that this case came with a card reader expansion, and most notably the micro SD and SD card, and it plugs right into that Lenovo motherboard USB 2.0 header. On top of that, we have two times USB 2.0, and now we can't use this microphone and headphone input because the pinout does not match the Lenovo motherboard. I believe there are cable adapters for this, but it's not quite worth the effort because you can use the I.O. on the back of the motherboard. Also features this LG optical drive with CD, DVD, RW features, which is great and maybe it'll get used one day. And the side panel features this plastic apparatus that theoretically will allow the CPU fan to pull in more cool air. Other than that, I suppose it's just a novelty to convert an office PC into a gaming PC. All right, so now it's time to test out the gaming performance of this PC, and we'll see if this is a effective PC for gaming and workstation use in late 2023 going into 2024.